in downtown restaurants as one of their former employees retaliated to shut down and also get the police involved. We want to warn you, though, the details may be disturbing. The involved is accused of putting his genitals in food items at the business. Late this evening, the restaurant culture responded to the story with a statement saying, in part, that they took immediate action by shutting down our establishment, cleaning the entire space, discarding all existing inventory, and contacting the police to have the employee arrested. See, this is why we cannot trust anything. We don't know what people is putting on in food. And, and I'm seeing something about child P-O-R-N also. Like you're disgusting. Homes stretches beyond the restaurant. Detectives believe homes may have been creating and sharing child pornography. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry is tracking developments in this case. Not only is this case concerning for public health, but also public safety. It all started with a tip from the manager of that downtown Houston restaurant after they saw a video of their employee sticking his genitals in a jar of jelly. Oh He's being called God, a predator man. by investigators. 27-year-old Othello Lorenzo Holmes facing five child pornography charges after an investigation of an alleged lewd act at work. It's very disturbing. Holmes worked as a cook at Culture Downtown, but no longer, after he allegedly recorded a video of himself putting his genitals in open food items, confessing to sticking it in a jar of jelly earlier this month. Court records show he told investigators he had a sexual urge but stopped himself and that he has the urges oh frequent. Oh my God. I mean, I, I am just blown away. I don't even know what to say about this besides it is disgusting. This was posted three days ago and I'm just now seeing this. Oh my God, man. Oh my God. Now, I heard of something similar happening in my city when Raleigh's restaurant had first opened up it was said that a guy did the same thing, but it was in mayo. Man, this what? This behavior going on, they immediately shut down uh, to everybody. Constable Alan Rosen says staff sanitized the kitchen and threw away contaminated items. When Precinct 1 investigators went through Holmes' phone, he says they found thousands of child porn videos on it, some of them allegedly showing Holmes involved in sexual acts around young what? kids. Now, who would allow him to do this around young kids? Was it somebody he was dating? Somebody, like, oh, my God, you just don't know. And they talking about their, they cleaning a restaurant out. Like, literally, they need to throw away everything. If if it wasn't closed and sealed, it need to be in the garden. Victims out there uh, that involve uh, children uh, being touched inappropriately or sexually assaulted. Investigators believe the victims are local. They arrested Holmes near his Myerland area apartment on Thursday, deeming him a danger so to So he society. thought he was doing something slick. When he really got himself in trouble. Thank you. Thank God. Talking about a freaking demotion. So you start doing this and then they uncover all of this disgusting. Oh, my God. He's now in jail with a $500,000 bond. It's mind boggling. It's somebody having a fetish with food and, and restaurants and then child porn. And he's a very sick person. Tonight, investigators say they don't have any indication that any contaminated food got served to anyone. But they also say that Holmes has worked at other Houston area restaurants over the years. They plan to get a subpoena for his DNA and a medical evaluation just to check for any potential sexually transmitted diseases. And because investigators believe he may have shared those child porn videos with others, federal charges are possible when i say this is absolutely disgusting and like they said they don't have any evidence of uh, any of this stuff being served they don't have any evidence of it not being served either absolutely some of the stuff was being served uh, why wouldn't it be so mm. so culture is a black owned restaurant located downtown Houston at 701 Avenida de las American Sweet A. And they have some good food, good looking food, some uh, um, okay reviews. I mean, they have some pretty good reviews and they are closed right now due to what's going on. Drop down in the comments and let me know what you think about what you just heard. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Make this go viral.